Now here's how we can set a car icon in Google Maps on iPhone. So at first, of course, make sure you have the app installed and everything. But once you get inside, you want to be like, you want to make sure you start some sort of navigation or something along those lines, right? So, you know, just start navigating towards a place or whatever, right? So let me just, uh, I don't know, just set it up like this. And what you're going to do is to make sure you tap on this icon, which is supposed to represent you right on the map. So what you got to do is just to tap on this and now you can switch it from a to like a different vehicle icon. So obviously at first you have the color, which you can change to something else, right? But uh, you might as well just slide over and choose a different car icon. Like you might choose like a different one and like different models and whatever. And even like the uh, different colors are here. So that is the possibility. And pretty much this is just a visual like help or whatever that, you know, you're going to see it on a map instead of the arrow. But besides that, that's pretty much the entire functionality of this. However, there are also some other car related settings in terms of the Google Maps. So what you might as well do is to tap on your name right here and click on settings. And when you scroll down through the options, you have the ability to decide in case you want to save a car or like your parked car in there. So when you click on navigation right here, there is the ability to enable save parking location and it is automatically going to save it and it is going to likely just show it up on a map as a parked car. So you might as well just add the icon right there as well. So when you click on this, obviously it has to access to your location and everything, but this is one other possibility. So make sure you do that and uh, at least test it out if it's for you or not. So hope you like this video, hit the thumbs up, subscribe below, and I'm going to catch you later on in the next tutorial.